you mentioned that there was a display in a store window. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that and how did you get involved with that? Um, it's called In Her Shoes and I felt that these shoes would be fabulous for display and it did. It brought in so much traffic into the shop and every this woman who allowed me to do it in her shop loves to change her windows all the time. So I, I had a, my own window for three months. I kept changing it up and it drew crowds and it was great. Yeah. Wow. Did you have different themes that different, you followed? Different themes. Uh, Valentine's Day, I did all red shoes. Wow. Yeah. yeah, it was really fun. And then I had the bridal one. I had different ones for different seasons. And so we interchange now. I, it's half my things and half their things. So oh, I'm I still see. there. So you, so you have some of your shoes yeah. on display there? Yes. Where else can we see your shoes? Well, I've been showing at Open Studios, which has been a wonderful experience. And then I also have had some home shows. And then I also, you know, I show around. And I had a uh, one woman show at the uh, Pacific Art League. Very nice. Yeah. So you're a Silicon Valley Open Studio artist. I am. So tell us about some of the benefits of being a Silicon Valley Open Studio you artist. You know, if you're, if you're showing in a gallery, you don't get to have that interaction with the public. And it's so wonderful. There's people come in, and you're inspired by them. They're inspired by you. They give you ideas. That never happens in galleries. So it's just a wonderful way to meet the public and get their feedback. I love that. So what kind of feedback do they give about your shoes? Tell us a story. Well, people have said you should be showing them in here and there in magazines and you know, giving me ideas of where I would, where am I showing them. And also I have funny names for all the shoes so people love to help bring ideas and oh, call it this or that, you know, so. Excellent, so for example, what do you call this shoe back here? That's the Garden Fairy and she has fairy wings and her big stamen. <laughs> <laughs> I see that, yes. yes. <laughs> it does look very, it's very large for a fairy though. I love the big clunky shoes that you choose. They're yeah, just I'm, beautiful. I'm looking for those kinds of shapes, yeah. Very nice. And then this one too? Oh, this is ooh la la. Ooh la la. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you want to go step out, stepping in that one? <laughs> well, I love to dance, so oh, some good. of these shoes are giving me some ideas. Not the pottery shoe necessarily. <laughs> Anyway, so at the open studios, when people come into your studio, what do they see? Do you have a display area? Do you have it outside in your garden, like you were saying? What does it look like? I created, um, like I said, as you walk up to my house, all these shoes were planted with succulents. You come in, and it was called Rue de Choux. And so <laughs> you kind of, I had it all, everything was had a display around it, because I'm kind of like that. <laughs> So they walked through the Rue de Choux, and then, then I had one room that was called, um, I forgot now, <laughs> and it, it, it was all whimsicals, um, the Shoe Inn. It was the called. Shoe Inn? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. And um, that was the whimsical room. And then I had it outside, too. But I, do, I opened up my living room, and then... So it was room. all a shoe display. It was. It was Very great. Nice. People loved it. So the, the scenes that you set for your shoes are similar to the pictures that you took in your, for your book? Yes. So you have yeah. little decorations around yeah. the shoe. Right. And does that, when, when someone, if they, for example, want that shoe, can they take the Actually, entire? I did, I did sell them as the entire showcase. So it's, yeah. a show, so it's an installation shoe, yes. not just a no, shoe. Not just a shoe. No, we're not... These are not just shoes. And however. I'm not done with it yet. <laughs> no. So you have, you know, what is your next step in your uh -oh. art? <laughs> I you can't know, resist. <laughs> you know, I'm so glad that you mentioned that because after I finished the collection and the book, I started working in mosaics. And so flat, regular mosaics? Yeah, tabletops and, and vases and all kinds of things. And Do I they also have themes like this, or are they more pictorial? I think they're themed in color and design and texture, yeah. Mm -hmm. One was water, and I had all these textures of water and things. And then I did a whole collection of um, teapots and broken teapots and dishes. This one is called morning tea. And I have afternoon tea and the Mad Hatter Tea Party. So this became kind of 
a light bulb for me. And I decided what's next for me is to incorporate my mosaics, my teapot idea theme, and do a Mad Hatter tea party. <laughs> so I know that's very ambitious and wild, but it's what's what I'm focusing in on right now. So describe the Mad Hatter Tea Party. Is it a tea party with shoes? Yes. Yes, Descri it's a table setting. And on the table setting will be, uh, I'm doing one called Grandmother's Teapot right now. So it's teapots and, and er anything to do with tea. And then I'm doing dishes that are stacked up in, in funny ways. And I'm creating all kinds of things with wild dishes. So and then mosaics. and. It's so just a, another installation. How large is this going to be? Well, I think it could could really be something large. <laughs> That's what so. I'm envisioning: a very long table, and then and then just all these wonderful, delightful things on it that I'm I'm creating so right now. Stacked dishes. So also garden art. I'm very interested in garden art. So some of the the teapots and stuff are actually bird feeders or, or uh, totems, mm. so that kind of thing. Oh, so I know it's hard to visualize. Well, I'm, I'm still <laughs> at your Mad Hatter Tea Party. I'm trying to envision it, and I remember seeing a book of Judy Chicago's exactly. uh, the, the Dinner, dinner Party. party. Mm -hmm. That had very specific themes about right. the plate setting and then embroidery as well. Is that sort of what you're envisioning for this, or is this much more whimsical than totally that? Totally whimsical. And I'm working with dishes now in like a cup and then a, a dish on top of it and then a teapot on top of it. And maybe it's a lamp or something like that. So there, there'll be all kinds of fun and delightful things. Oh, I can't wait to yes, see it. You must come. <laughs> <laughs> so when do you project that this might be finished so that we can see it? Well, I hope to uh, have it by Open Studios next oh, in year. May. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Beautiful. That's what I'm shooting for. Wow. Yeah. And then you'll have your other shoes on display as well? Or? I don't know. I might just stay with the teapot theme. I think it's kind of unique, and I think tea is very in right now. And shoes will never go out. <laughs> no. Shoes are in. And I think I want to stay with that kind of fantasy. Yeah, and I think the idea of using recycled parts that yes. have been used for something else yes. are also, is also a really very trendy, good idea. And friends are bringing me broken dishes and teapots, so oh, excellent. I'm open to <laughs> anybody giving them me. And it looks like the little teapot on the tip of that shoe comes from a doll tea set. Yeah, it's actually an ornament. but you Oh, know. it's an ornament. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it definitely reminds me of tea parties that yes. I had oh, as a child. As a child. Definitely. Well, they're yeah. very beautiful Thank shoes. You. Excellent work. I'm having a lot of fun with it, and, you know, I'm doing, I feel like there's no end to creating it out of it. It just keeps going to the next level for me. Excellent. So, and then, you know, inside you'll have the Mad Hatter's Tea Party, and then you said outside you'll have garden ornaments? No, I think this is an outdoor thing because oh, it's, it's going to be in May. And I'm envisioning a very long table with all kinds of fun things on it. So those three-tiered cake plates, so they'll be my kind of version of cake plates. Broken plates and pieces Thank and you. parts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Smashed, I think you said your and adding, technique yes. is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a, a really fun place that I work. It's a, it's a potting shed, and you can hear me smashing glass and pottery. <laughs> it's a fun place for me to work. So that would be kind of the site for it in the backyard. That's beautiful. Yeah. So do you have any other plans besides doing the mosaics or anything like that for your future? Any more books, perhaps? I think being a collage artist, it just takes you wherever it wants to go, and this is where I'm going right now. And I think the mosaic thing is going to be something uh, that's going to be the most significant thing right now. So yeah, cutting pieces and parts. Do you mm -hmm. see yourself um, creating anything other than tea parties? Well, actually, sculptures. I want sculptures, to do, yes. too. My fantasy is to have a sculptural garden. And I already have a shoe idea that I'm going to 
execute, and I'm getting some understanding some of the materials I need right now for it. So larger shoes, huge, huge shoes. Yes. Oh well, stay A tuned for that. <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Corinne, for it's coming been fun. to be on Talk Art. This has been fascinating to see all of your shoes in person. They are absolutely beautiful. Thank you and so I much. I really enjoyed talking about all the processes and how you choose all these beautiful textures. They're quite lovely shoes. So thank, thank you. you. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. And thank you for watching our show Talk Art about local artists in the Bay Area. I'm Sally Rain.